Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into our session, let's first just take a moment and thank our sponsor for this video, which is Ritual. Happy 2022. Holy moly, what is time? I hope everyone had a safe and fun or quiet, you know, time, whatever you're about, but I hope you had a great New Year's Eve and a very great start to your new year here. Happy 2022. Our sponsor today is so very fitting because it's the time of year where we typically, a lot of us anyway, make New Year's resolutions and think about how we can do things a little differently, reflect on the past year and maybe tweak some things, bring some habits into our lives, essentially creating little rituals for ourselves. Perhaps getting more fresh air or spending more time with loved ones or even just adding a multivitamin to your routine. Even with a perfect diet, it can be hard to get the key nu nutrients, key nutrients that we need on a daily basis. Ritual helps fill in the gaps in our diets with nine high quality nutrients, no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. So you know exactly what's going into your body. I love these as well because they are, uh, I'm a very sensitive stomach vitamin type person and these never upset my stomach. In fact, they have this really lovely like minty smell as well that just makes them a pleasure to take in the morning. And I feel good knowing I'm supporting my foundational health. Ritual has products for different life stages. So of course there's like kids ones, men's, women's, um, prenatal, things like that. They also have a protein line now, which is great because personally I know I never get enough protein. I always end up taking like a protein shake or make a little smoothie for myself to fill in that gap. Vitamin D being another that I know I need to get a little extra of. And in a clinical case study, essential for women multivitamin was shown to increase vitamin D levels over a 12 week period. On Ritual's website, you can get a list, a list of the ingredients and why they chose to use them. You can trace the decision-making process behind each of their ingredients and where they source them from, as well as the environmental impact. Because better health doesn't happen overnight, Ritual is offering right now 10% off your first three months to fill in the gaps with your chosen uh, vitamin, <laughs> a small step that supports a healthy foundation for your body. So again, that is 10% off your first three months by going to the link here listed on the screen or using my code LOON10 to get that 10% off. Thank you so very much to Ritual for sponsoring this video and thank you so very much for choosing to watch my video, for allowing me to share a little piece of your path today and for all the inspiration and just really just lovely comments and the community that I see growing here. Just thank you so much. You're such a gift. And now let's get into our session. Hello. And thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Nate. And what I'm creating for you today could simply be a relaxing video could be a method for you to communicate to your subconscious mind, your subliminal mind. And if you're open to the concept of energy work by proxy, you can use this as a distance or remote energy work session. So I wanted to just take a moment, of course, and thank you so much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really helps me. And leave a comment if you can, if you wouldn't mind. That helps me so much. And just thank all of you who have been on this journey with me for a moment or for since 2015. <laughs> so, wishing you just the very, very best. And it is my intention here today to create a space where any of you myself included, any of us can come to, to find a little peace, reconnect with ourselves, inspire introspection, self-reflection, understanding, self-love of course as well, self-care. There's so much to be done in the world and in our days, but we also need that time to just allow things to happen without the physical effort as well, right? For things to move, for things to release, to process behind the scenes so to speak and that's what we're doing here today and of course all of my sessions from the very beginning and until I stop doing them one day maybe are all in accordance with your free will so I'm never over here trying to you know put a spell on you 
or do anything that is in any way, you know, infiltrating or encroaching on your personal energy. So you are the guard here, you are the discerner, you are in control, of course. So I just always want to remind everyone of that, and I don't say that in every video, and I probably should. So our theme for today is going to be about removing blockages. We're going to be doing a little plucking, and I'm kind of looking at this as, I don't want to say a series, but I want to put this part of a session out, and then the next two sessions that I'm going to create kind of fall into a threefold sort of session to be complementary to one another. They don't have to be exclusively tied, of course, but I'm kind of looking at this as the validate and also let's clear, let's release, let's break down any blockages, let's allow for some plucking, some treatment, and kind of like tending to the soil first, energetically speaking, as we move on to perhaps, you know, continue this journey together. So we're going to light this candle that I crafted during Scorpio season. Because Scorpio does have a really healthy ability to work with the shadow and while this isn't exclusively some kind of shadow work session I thought it would be a nice foundational layer or foundation layer to work with through the process here this process of transformation of I'll say self-preservation in the sense, putting yourself first, you as your foundation. And a bit of course of like honoring the quote-unquote death process, and I mean that energetically speaking here. Because when we're ready to take a next step or when we're working through some kind of transition or we're evolving in any way, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a death, isn't there? So I thought that this would lend to some really yummy energy. muscly On behalf of the highest and greatest good and in perfect comfort, perfect alignment and safety, <laughs> it is my intention today, of course, to support you. That is my intention, to support you in any way. You know, that would be wonderful. Um, but more specifically here, what we're working with is a bit of a cleanse, a bit of a plucking a bit of a aura cleanse, an energy, energetic cleanse, and from there working to remove obstacles, open doorways, open pathways, open channels that are in complete, precise alignment to your 
personal blueprint, your personal DNA, your personal like cosmic framework, holographic connection to your soul, to your mission, you know, big and small, to what speaks to you, to your passions, to where you are, where you've been, but of course where you're going, what speaks to your soul. And I really want to emphasize there the preciseness of that, the exact doorways, the exact pathways unfolding, opening, clearing the way for you to easily navigate through. And speaking from my friend, Ashtara, who I posted a video of recently, in one of their recent videos, they stated how you will know what that pathway is for you because the universe, I'm paraphrasing here, excuse me, I don't mean to quote, but the universe or whatever you want to call what you call it, you know, but will show you through support. Like you will not have to do this alone. You don't have to carry this whole weight. And I just wanted to bring that in because it's such a beautiful piece of kind of connecting with and allowing our, our journey here, right? So of course, if you have your own intention, you would like to set, please have a look at this cute little flame this pathway, this doorway, this key, this portal, send in your own declared um, participation, you know, declare your participation in this, for example, or declare your allowance to be cleansed, to have doorways open for you, of course, a benevolence, perfect, perfect, perfect alignment, and open to, opening up to the support that also comes through those pathways and channels most again aligned to you, your heart, your soul, your divinity, your essence, right? Your truth, your empowerment, all of the most high vibrational words that I can possibly think of right now, right? So just send in your wish, declare your will, trust, and allow yourself to receive. All right? with a little crystal underneath for safety. So we're going to start connection. And by the way, this is all channeling, you know, from the moment my little intro comes up here. I'm using the Enchanted Essences self-love spray. I've gotten many comments recently asking me about my sprays. Enchanted Essences self-love is one of them. We want to really lend this connection, this self-love connection into our foundation. Whether you're having a dark night of the soul experience, whether you are, you know, hating yourself, whether you're questioning everything, no matter where we're at, or if you're feeling good too, you know, more power to you, I guess, but we want to really bring in that self-love here and lend this to our foundation, almost like we are, again, treating the soil, uh, the space of propagation, the space of cultivation to honor your journey, your path, and your love for yourself. So even if you just this morning said, I hate myself, or why am I like this, or whatever, you know, I hope we can take a moment and think about how even in those those moments. We love ourselves. We know that is just talk. That is just frustration. That is just a space of unconditional love and therefore one of the easiest avenues, paradoxically, to be cruel to, right? I don't know why that is, but I guess everything's a two-way street and there's always balance and temperance on each side, so. As much as the darkest time of your life has been, or the most you've ever hated yourself, 
any love. There's also that same capacity for love and really beyond. There is no limitation here. There is just balance. So I just want to send in this love. I'm seeing like lotus, <laughs> lotus plants, like the heads of lotus like flying up. Pushing in, sending in, holding love for you, holding love for myself, channeling through, and just filling your space with this love, with this rosy, floral, rose quartz-esque pink. a little of the salt. These are just Himalayan salts. And we're just gonna channel through and send and connect and intend to connect with your physical self, emotional, mental, spiritual, your past, your present, your future. Your shadow, your light, your 3D, the depths of you, the lights of you, the peaks and valleys, the highs and lows, and just move through in every space here. Just using the salt to kind of purify, forgive the word there, it's kind of a cringy word a little bit, but by these spaces to be very thorough energetic cleansing this is not just an acute energetic cleansing although it certainly could serve as such we want to connect with all realities all dimensions all spaces dream spaces again Presence, all potential, relationships, projects, creative flow, reports, intuition, instinct, every little space of you, every facet. Just helping to process, alchemically we could say, to clear and connect with the gold situations and experiences of these facets of self, of all that lies within you. Focusing into your receptive palm point. You're focusing on your receptive channels and the flow of receptivity for you to receive anything that you will be benefited by. Focusing on the dominant, the expressive pathways, channels, palm points, meridians, allowing that release, that creation, that boundary, that expression, whatever it is to flow, to direct. The stones I've chosen for you today are all brown. And I think that that wasn't intentional at first for me, but it all ties back to the connection of, like, depth. And 
also a space of like neutrality as in not resisting your own growth or your own love or blessings or anything that would serve you. So here I have, let me get a little light for you. This might not work that okay, but just to show you, this is a piece of, um, what do they call it, like root beer tourmaline or brown tourmaline. I've never really seen it before, but I'll list the shop below that I got this from. I'm not sure they'll still have it, but there's still a great shop. And I'll try to show you more closely. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. You can see. And I'm going to place this between your feet. To help connect with the tangi tangibility. <laughs> Is that a word? The tangible? Um, like, um, if the tangible level, if the earth level, if the tactile level is the densest and is the, the like, we'll call it bottom from where we are, where we exist, of energies at least, like the densest, the slowest, I want this to represent and connect with and channel through and support, almost like helping hands here, that, like, strength in the tangible, or that, um, strength or power that comes from working with the tangible, and how we inevitably are, you know, expectedly, what's the right word here, uh, ultimately want to see change in our life. Yeah, having a great, like, emotional state is, is wonderful, that sounds wonderful, but it also can create great change in our life in a very benef beneficial way. Same can be said for our finances, same can be said for anything that we're manifesting or working towards. It's not so much just this thing that we want to be able to connect with up here. We want to see it, we want to share it, we want to experience it, we want to get sick of it and go on to something else. So I'm just focusing on quick here. Charging this beautiful stone. And focusing to place between your feet, between your ankles here. Focusing to ground, to be present in the moment, present in this experience as well. Even if you're drifting, there's a subconscious presence, right? Another mineral I have for you today is a, I might butcher this, but tylenite, tylenite, basically a type similar to moldavite from Thailand though, so not Mol Moldova, Thailand. So it's similar in the sense that it's glassy and it's extraterrestrial, but it's different. So I I think it's called Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. And I got this from the same shop as that, and I will list it below. Awesome tectite. And just like we have this grounding connection here with the, the brown tourmaline, I want this to connect to the ether, to spirit, to intelligence, to the beyond, and kind of also, in a similar sense, welcoming that support and how we want to see this effect not because we're looking for some result in a hard and tunnel vision kind of way, but see some results, you know, because we want, we understand that we're all connected. We understand that there's more to this than just our experience and what is right for us is right for many and stuff like that. So really cool piece here. messages, inspiration, ideas, support coming from places you never could have planned for. And just this great connection between earth and spirit or matter and pattern through to receive, to be balanced through, to be supported by these archetypes we could say. 
just focusing through the crown and above, focusing below to the earth star, focusing below to the earth star and above to the, uh, what's it called, soul star, and beyond. this foundation of self-love, this connection to these divine elements that you are a part of, that you are a child of. I wish I could leave this on your head, but we'll just have to kind of connect through that activation. Okay. I'm just going to use De Shamsia, another lovely place that I get sprays from. I'll put this in the link below as well, or a link below as well. But we're gonna spray down your back here. I'll just spray my hand. This is cucumber mint and fireweed, and I just really wanna connect with that soothing, supportive sort of feeling as you connect with this channel moving through you from earth and down and below and out the other side of the earth <laughs> and above and moving up into the cosmos, into space the subtle realms and then just going behind the back of your head, combing down, focusing through that spinal column essentially down the back of your back here, down the spine, down your, the back of your legs, back of your calves, all the way to the floor and beyond. And again, over around the front of your skull here, through, down through, chest, stomach, abdomen, all the way through your legs, all the way to the floor and beyond, connecting with your palm points. This little clear quartzy, super pretty and adorable. Okay, moving through the receptive channels in through your heart and out the dominant. In and out, in and out, receiving what you need to create, receiving what you need to show up, receiving what you need to rest, receiving what you need to communicate, receiving and directing, receiving of axonite and it's this really cool almost like layery yeah layery <laughs> mineral and I love the shape of this I like to use it almost like a blade energetic in my energy work you can see it's pretty translucent And while you're connecting and feeling this flow above, moving through you, in, above, moving through you, and out, just really connected and supported, receiving and directing, receiving and directing, and just allow yourself, if you're able to, to feel that. It's pretty, pretty dope. <laughs> it's a pretty dope meditation. And we're going to be using, now that you're kind of, kind of, you know, you're all always tuned in. You don't need me or anyone else to be tuned in. But what I mean is you're in that moment of feeling very tuned in, I hope. And at that point, with the support, almost like this flushing kind of feeling, this movement flowing through you, we're going to be making little, little um, points 
to extract anything that is holding you back mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and beyond, right? So I'm just going to shift focus, if you don't mind. We're just going to... And plug. And plug with this lovely... Intending to connect with only that which is ready to be released. Only that which is in any way in your way. There's so much out there to program us, to make us feel small, to make us feel weak, to make us feel dependent, not good enough. Let's like go of that, let go of that, let go of that. Anything that holds you back, anything maliciously imposing on your very sacred space, on your sacredness. Vala's Enchanted Perfumery. This is a Venus oil. And I just thought it'd be a good, <laughs> good fit here. So 
fingers and just massage this into that third, mind, third eye, into that subliminal mind. Again, from the shadow to the light, to every depth, to every peak, to every up and down, to every facet, to every splinter, to every wound. Past, present, future, all realities, all dimensions, channeling through this wholeness, this belief in yourself, this love of yourself, this connection to who you are. We're gonna claim that, claim who you are, and command all pathways, all doorways clear and open for you to transverse, is that the word? To experience, to move through, to sail, to float, to be led, to be supported and command and declare all areas of support open for you to receive through and 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 through clearing severing all that is false and opening your pathway to all that is true, all that is aligned, all that is in your, your plan, you know, your divine personal plan. Just the help of this feather. Then we move through. And this was a gift sent by some someone who um, has a pet that sheds, so this is an ethical flower of feather. Alright, we're just going to move through. Just helping that kind of like swirl around. We can think of it like the gentle wind that this feather can create and also the concept of the butterfly flapping its wings here, and then there's a tornado somewhere else, you know, like, so as powerful as this needs to be for you. Just moving through. Feel how supported you are. Bringing some heat to my hands here.
I know it's hard sometimes, but if you can connect with it and become more familiar with it and just accept it, man, just accept it. It can be such a protective field around you like nothing else. Really, it supports so much in your field. I want to thank you so much again for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight and for being such a very important piece of mine. I can't thank you enough. I have some really yummy plans for this year and I'm very excited to share them with any of you who are into it. <laughs> um, more to come, of course, but thank you so much. It's truly an honor for me to serve in any way and this just happens to be the way that I'm able to. So thank you so very much from the very bottom of my heart. I bow to the divine within you and I and to this very interesting and beautiful connection that we share. So very much love to you, of course, and namaste.